Hello YouTube, uh, it's Tofu Smurf again. Sorry for the long delay, but I've been pretty busy recently. So, um, anyway, I decided to bring you some replays that happened during the uh, between the last video upload and till now, and uh, just some good games here and there, uh, things that I liked, uh, whether it be high damage, just how the battle went, or you know, uh, decent amount of kills. Who knows? Um, but again, this is a uh, you know, sorry for the delay. Anyway, this is a battle where me and PPK are in dual 50Bs, and the goal here is to just uh, focus fire things out, get as many targets out as we can per clip, and to not let anything live. Um, and you'll see a good example of how we rotate shots and whatnot, and, uh, you know, uh, basically maximize what we do with each uh, four round mag. Now, while I have this time while we sit here, um, I'm still compiling. I'm trying to get you guys some replays of my uh, Type T34 so that um, you guys can slowly see the tanks that I'm playing as I progress up the Chinese tree, um, starting with the M5A1 that I posted last time, <coughs> or before. Um, Type T34, uh, I have some clips, but you know they're quite short, so I wanted to compile a lot more so that you guys can get more uh, a longer video. Uh, I don't want to waste you guys' time with like no five-minute video. I learned I learned that lesson a while ago, so I'll try to get that for you guys as soon as possible. Um, here we see an E75 that's tracked and oblivious. So here we go with uh, 250 Bs, and the goal is to get him out regardless. And then now it's just to get your shell out. The mercy roll there, and uh, now reload. Luckily, uh, I bounced the first batch hat shell. PBK not as lucky as I am sometimes um, now the, the the worry here is if the bad chat pushes us uh, you know specifically pushes PPK he's he's a goner that's why um, you know he went back and I'm more of a forward positioning I'm in a weird spot um, I'm not exactly worried about artillery because their artillery at the time was getting rushed by their mediums our mediums I mean or a medium I apologize so I could sit in the open like that and just manage to, you know, look at tanks inside the inside this building and see, you know, how they're pushing and whatnot. So we focused on that bad chat. This T-34, I'm afraid he's going to hit me, but I managed to get both my shells out and reload again. So like I said, uh, with the power of 250Bs reloading and focusing one target, that bad chat was really short work and probably... I think did one damaging shot out. So, uh, you know, now this T34 and this E100, they kind of know that we're loading, but because PPK is playing more in the front, PPK is actually reloading right now. But because he's playing aggressively a little bit more forward, they think he's not. Um, you know, they think he's loaded and whatnot. And now we bought ourselves some time to reload and entirely clip this E100. Gotcha. And this T34. So uh, we prioritize the E100 first, even though the T34 are lower health, because uh, one, he peaked out first. Two, uh, if you can limit one tank to one shot, always um, before he dies, always make sure that you do that to the most damaging tank of the group. Um, that E100 getting one hit in would have been just stupid damage compared to that T34. Um, now I sit at this angle because I know he's retreating. So I know I'll eventually get a shot at him again. And uh, now we do something stupid. <laughs> um, there's a 300 something health. The yeah, Agpanzer 100 should be one shotable for PBK. And we're trying to get ourselves a bros in arms according to Morbid. And uh, if PBK can aim. And uh, yeah, so that's a good battle, how we focus fired and whatnot. I don't remember the XP gain, but that it was 4,000 damage, so it's pretty good. Now, um, Let's get this show on the road. here we lead right into uh, my bad chat. Now, the reason why I don't put too many of the, you know, these French tanks uh, replays up is because... I am far too aggressive of a player to not have something that has at least a little bit of armor, um, maybe some health, you know, whatnot. Because uh, I'm usually in the front, and I, I feel this awkwardness about reloading. I want to be like 
helping out my teammates in, in the face of something, but um, uh, PBK is very manipulative. So anyway, um, this is one of the rare occurrences where I do play my bad chat, kind of like how that was a rare occurrence. I played my PB, and this is Malinovka. Um, I know I had the speed advantage to be able to get onto hill first, so I will take that uh, windmill for the positional advantage on this map. Um, the more spacing I can spread out between my teammates and um, you know and the enemies and limit their spacing the more room we have already to work and you know more of a margin of error for us to be able to retreat you know and defend again and then retreat and defend again if it need be. Um, this video I rewatched a couple days ago and there's some really awkward reloading moments here and uh, thanks to the good grace of Pubby's not pushing a reloading bat chat about three times um, you'll see what it amounts to. Um, the other thing that I do a lot of in this battle is uh, I miss a lot. Uh, this is one of the I think this is the only time I've actually ever fired every single shell out of my batch at. Um, so this is going to get weird. So this T110 gets up. I don't want to peek out and do uh, my shots until he's either tracked or he's overextended. You see as I missed my first shot and that should have been my tip to realize I was going to miss almost goddamn everything for the rest of the battle. Um, here I'm just hoping that Artie lands a hit, um, and they will, I think. Yeah, that counts. So I tried this E50, I tried to do as much damage as I can to him as possible. He repaired, making me miss again, which makes me look stupid. Anyway, uh, I had two shells left, I think, or three. I'm reloading because when they flashed earlier, those heavies and the mediums, about like four tanks lit up, five tanks lit up. So I knew a big engagement was coming and I wanted a full clip in that engagement regardless of the fact that I could have got these two or three shells out. But then I'd be reloading much later and their heavies would have had a more favorable position to really stick it in deep on me. And um, generally speaking, do not want. Almost reloaded here and once I'm loaded it's just about getting my damage out. And uh, I'm trying to help this, you know, T110. I accidentally blocked him there. I probably shouldn't have done that. That's my bad. And then he did that. Probably to get me back. So here I'm just trying to get this 215B out. Uh, luckily someone else hit. Now my last shell out while it's safe. Reload. Again, I apologize to that T110. Frankie Busy Inc. Uh, I apologize for blocking you there. That's my bad. I thought I had cleared it, but apparently I did not. This is one of those awkward reloads I'm talking about. If you're the E100 M103 and you look and you realize, or you're not counting, first of all, you're not counting shells of the bat chat, but you realize I'm not playing aggressive or anything like that. You should be pushing the bat chat. Never let a bat chat reload. The, the French tank, you really severely limit their value if they only get one clip off at best. So I'm fully loaded, again like the last replay I said, I want to avoid the E100 shells. Even though I'm driving into two tanks, I know uh, at least one or two of them have fired recently. I get two out, this should have done damage, but I decided, hey, let's give this guy a chance. So I'm on reload, this is awkward. I'm driving towards a bunch of tanks, driving away from two tanks, and there's an RD alive still. I should be dead. Um, you know, at this juncture, out of the 30 shells, I fired 13. Only did about, you know, the damage there, 28, 37. Uh, of the damaging pens, so of the 13, let's see, 6, 7, 8. 8 shells that did damage pens, and we had that one no damage pen there. So I've missed, you know, 4 to 3 shells already. And I'm going to miss many, many more. Um, on another note, uh, PPK has been urging me to do more replays of my end tiers, so I'll try to do that. I generally don't grind my end tiers because I find tier 10 pub matches really infuriating. And the fact that I don't throw gold shells in pub matches, um, that makes it like any any harder. It's just uh, 
you know, um, it's it's taking the gold shell hits that that's annoying. Uh, I don't I don't you know I don't mind that I only throw AP or whatever the regular credit you know shell is. I don't feel like I need to bring the the premium shells even though they're credits now. I try to save those for clan wars. I really watching my credits, um, my total credit count. I I don't play this game as often as I think some people think I do. So I don't sit here and do uh, credit grinds like I should be. And because I have a bunch of tier 9s and a bunch of tier 8s that are coming to a close soon, I need about like 18 million credits. And uh, I don't exactly poop out credits. Although I think I'm going to start milking Theo for credits. Yes. I'm going to turn Smigetti into a credit cow. I'm just milking those udders. Of this is freaking weird. Um, I also mentioned on Facebook, and I'm going to pose this question now, uh, me and my brother Lagine, if you didn't know, it would be my brother, um, I've considered putting up replays, uh, not so much, like, where the, where the win or the loss doesn't really matter, but where I can see, um, not only errors in my play, uh, not that there's not errors in the plays that I've already posted so far, but more focus on what I did wrong and what I could have done better, as well as um, maybe pause the video a few times to see the formation of the our team and where people should be pushing, where did, should they get positional advantage, what people are doing wrong. Uh, maybe if I die early, I can go to the cameras of other tanks and, you know, kind of pinpoint things like that. Um, I mistakenly referenced it as rage clips. Um, I only classified it as such just because when I see other people making... Um, maybe not my mistakes, but like really simple mistakes that should be like common sense. I get a little, um, I would say derogatory or vulgar when I'm describing it. Uh, some people would say, uh, colorful when I describe it. I'm not actually sitting here just cursing someone out. Um, it's just that I'm giving advice and throwing a few expletives in between. So if that's something you guys would want to see, let me know. Um, again, I don't want to mislead you guys into thinking that it's just me sitting here cursing everybody, talking about how good I am, and talking about how bad everyone is. That is not the case. Um, I'm not perfect, and by no means should any pub feel like they're perfect. Um, if you take the mentality that there's something you can do better every battle, you only raise your own standards, and um, you only raise your level of gameplay. So. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know. I'll do that, um, and it'll it'll probably be live recording some more than more so than uh, you know uh, replays or maybe a mix of both. Who knows? Anyway, um, sorry, I bade your tangent. So earlier, I put some damage on the T44 that I decided to miss so many times. Here, I got the Panther 2 unawares, probably still camboed up until I fired or got really close. We nailed the back. Now luckily this Lorraine wasn't looking at me at first, I don't know if he had fired recently. But either way, I had to jump on him, he was just turning, the reticle's resetting as he's turning, so I was pretty much in the clear. Now I finally killed that T-44 that I couldn't hit worth a damn. I'm reloading and there's this awkward mag of three shells for a bat chat. Um, kinda caught myself by surprise there, I'm sitting on seven kills. 5,389 damage. I wanted to get one more kill for the Radley Walters because I don't really get eight kill battles very often. Um, I get a lot of threes and fours, and they kind of add up after time for my kill count. I don't get too many, you know, seven, eights, nines, tens. Um, actually, the one time I did have a nine kill battle, I believe I posted it on YouTube, and that was the one time. Trust me, I don't do it very often at all. If you want to know who does it very often, um, my brother Lagine does it too often. You know, his pool of medals and his rally vaulters. Um, I catch his 50B. At first I backed up because I was afraid he was aiming at me. Um, got a look at it. He wasn't. And I should have chased him for this a better shot. I was afraid to get hit. That was my bad. Tracked him. Awkward. No shells left. And um, contemplated doing something to get an 8th kill. Um... I'm hoping here that the SC-152 takes a hit from the IS-3 
and then I built up enough speed to ram it to, to kill him. But um, apparently this IS-3 didn't want to play into my hands. And if you're an RD, please never take that shot. Please, your teammates hug me and don't. Now to our final replay. Uh, I forgot to mention in the last video that I did a probably think 6,000 damage. I don't remember. You guys can see it there. It's sitting there. Um, I wanted to show this replay not because it's really stellar. There's a lot of luck involved in this replay about not taking damage and you know this and that. But I wanted to share with you guys uh, you know, since I've kind of helped take over this channel a little bit, uh, and I sh you know I usually share my you know better battles with you guys and my you know and whatnot. Uh, this is my highest kill total to date, and uh, this thing doesn't happen to me at all, so literally at all. Um, so I want to share this with you guys, and um, hopefully you guys enjoy. Again, there's a lot of luck involved here, a lot of bad luck also for my uh, platoon mates, or specifically my brother. Um, and uh, Morbid's with us in his S51. Uh, platooning the Morbid's weird, because Morbid decides he will only ever run an S51 or a KB2. Um, and he's damn good in both. It's not a knock on him, it's just funny that he sticks to that prerogative. So here, um, we're sitting in these buildings a little cozy. Uh, not trying to peek out too much, because we do have allies that are incoming, it's just a matter of letting them get to us to, uh, before you do anything crazy. Um, you know, you don't want to suicide and take it upon yourself to do everything, uh, because more often than not it will lead to your death. I didn't catch that 103, that was my fault, I wasn't paying attention. I'm pretty sure my brother told me that that guy was peeking and I heard it too late or whatnot. Enemy is hit. was hoping to track there, didn't. Um, you know, at this point, I realized that the m 3 is low health, a lot of things are low health, and I'm going to push this guy, because I want to get that gun off the field. An M103, um, with the top gun, is basically a T110, and you don't want to let a T110 live, ever, so don't let the M103 live. Again, I apologize for my brother there, he had to die, while I rack up this game. Now, I haven't seen this replay in a while, so I kind of don't remember how things go, but I know the end result. Um, here it's just a matter of getting targets out first. Uh, I got stuck up on the building there, I, I do that, I guess, often, or we too often. There goes the Tiger P. This KV-3, if I recall, is not even looking at me. Um, so, just, you know, finish him off there. Uh, now my goal is to get Artie because they're not pressuring the cap as much as they think they are. Um, there's plenty of time to cap. Uh, there's probably like two, three guys on there. Um, we have guys in town still. Now that will not be the case coming up, but I figured I had time to take out Artie first. Enemy vehicle knocked down. <coughs> as you can tell, I'm still coughing. I don't know what it is. I don't have a cold or anything like that. It is simply a dry cough. It's probably the most frustrating thing to deal with. I probably would rather have a fever than this crap. So I start to notice that our guys in town are slowly crumbling. I need to get to cap ASAP. Um, as you can see on the timer, 40 seconds and counting. You know, if I don't reset, this would be a loss, regardless of whether I kill, you know, take my time and survive and kill the centurion or not. So um, I try not to dilly dally too long here. Uh, as you can see, I probably do enough damage until I realize that um, that my teammates, he's at a suitable health where my teammates can finish him. I move up now because I don't want the Lorraine and T44 to be shooting me. The cap is at 60 to 70. I have no depression. Looks like that one went right through. Uh, generally speaking, having no depression is a good thing uh, in terms of life. Uh, in this game, not so much. I completely whipped that shot and I thought I lost him for our team there. Um, luckily I'm against a T29 who can't really hurt me. We surmised that that IS had a majority of the hell, uh, cap. I think we figured out later on that it was a different tank that had a majority of the cap. Now I wanted to shoot the GW Panther even though he kind of got there last. Enemy is hit. 
Um, if I can kill him, the cap timer goes down a little slower. And that's what I wanted to get. Uh, that's what I wanted to accomplish there. Uh, that AT-15A is no threat to my, you know, that angle and all that, although when tracked like this, is probably not the best angle. Ignoring this T-29 completely, because he cannot hurt me. Reliably. Um, you know, and cap's more important. This IS... I'm not sure if he even fired at me. I think he was preoccupied with other things. Uh, dead now. So I'm sitting at 7 kills, 3000 XP, um, you know, reset a good fair amount of cap points. I shoot the server Pershing right under that gunman lid that, that swivels. Um, I'm not very good with these technical terms. Um, that thing there that moves up and down. And I shot under it. Um, that is the weak spot for it. I don't like fighting super Pershings, especially since I don't throw gold, so kind of frustrating to deal with, although I usually approach them from the side or the rear. We've got them. Um, I'm at 49 health here, and probably peaking is not the best idea, but then I think I surmise that this guy was on reload. So surprise. Destroyed. Sitting at 9 kills, which ties my best game ever, uh, I believe, which was the comment um, that you guys saw. And um, now it's just about me watching this guy's turret. Looks like that I'm trying to stay alive, down. you know, and, um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm using the camera to my advantage to keep looking at this guy. He's reversing now, so because he's moving, I know his reticle is reset. Um, it's probably a lot wider than he wants it to be. So, there's that kill. 10 kills, 5,000 damage, one of my best games, highest kills ever. Um, and again, if you want me to do more end tiers rather than, you know, my grindings, uh, let me know. And if you want to see those, I guess, educational rage, if I can term that, um, please do let me know and uh, I'll talk.